Welcome to the series of learning sessions with Universe Professional Training. The topic right now is Pareto Analysis 80-20 Rule. What is Pareto Analysis? Imagine that you have just stepped into a new, new role as a head of a department. Of, uh, now, you have inherited a whole host of problems that need some kind of attention. Ideally, you want to focus on attention, uh, your attention on fixing the most important problems, obviously. But uh, how do you decide which problem you need to deal with? And uh, some problems caused by the same underlying issue. So you, you want to focus probably on the root cause of why these problems are happening. Pareto analysis is a simple technique for prioritizing possible changes by identifying the problems that will be resolved by making these changes. By using this approach, you can prioritize the individual changes that will most improve the situation. Pareto analysis using the Pareto principle, also known as the 80-20 rule, which is the idea that 20% of the causes generate 80% of results, which means with this tool, we are trying to find the 20% of the work that will generate 80% of the results that are that is doing bulk of the work that we are trying to deliver. Now, how to use the Pareto chart? I have tried to list them into six simple steps. Identify and list the problem. Firstly, you have to focus on identifying what the problem is before you could resolve them. Where possible, talk to the clients and team members to get their input and draw on surveys, help desk, logs, or whatever you can do, whatever is available, use those techniques to identify and list those problems. Once you have done that, the next step would be to identify the root cause of each problem. For each problem, uh, identify the fundamental cause or the techniques such as like brainstorming and why uh, cause and analysis issue root cause analysis that can help that can help you uh, determine the root causes for each problem once you have an idea about the root causes the next thing you would like to do is do the scoring for those problems the scoring method you use depends on the sort of problems you are trying to solve. For example, if you are trying to improve the profits, you might uh, score problems in on, on the basis of uh, how much they are costing for you. The next thing that you would like to do uh, once you have done the scoring is to group your problems together by root cause. For example, if three of your problems are caused by lack of staff, put these in the same group. Or if the, the, the root cause is because of an efficient, inefficient um, process in, in the manufacturing, that group them together. Step number five, I would say, is uh, you can add up these scores for each group. The group with the top score is your highest priority and the group with the lowest score is your lowest priority. So that will help you a certain where to focus. The last thing is take action. Now you, you know the problems, you have identified the root cause, you have grouped them and listed them together. Um, it's easy for you to take actions on those root causes by top priority and focusing on, on the, um, the problem that's causing the 80% of the issues. And um, once you have the focus on those, you should be able to eliminate 80% of the problems. Thanks for listening to the series of lectures 
and uh, tutorials from Universe Professional Training. Bye for now.